Okay, Shalom, just Rabbi Ma from Nebraska camp. This is GMS Any Quick and the Spirit. First off, we give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Double Honest Apostles, Slash Elders, which are GMS. Blessed salutations to you, brothers out there teaching and doing this work in truth and sincerity. And I just I want to bring out this um this passage in the book of St. John. Uh just to you know quicken brothers' spirits, of course. Um I'm getting straight to it. In uh, St. John 21 and 15, it says, So when uh, so when they dine, Yahweh Shai said, saith to Simon, Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my lambs. Okay. Uh, then he saith in... Uh, 15, he said unto him, he said to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. Okay? And then um, he said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said, he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, uh, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Saith, uh, Yahweh shall say unto him, feed my sheep. Okay? So the whole point that I'm alluding to is that, you know, um, we're, you know, if you you love the Lord, you will feed the flock. Okay? And how do you feed the flock? This word, um, the word of the Lord is like bread. Okay? It's referred to as bread and wine and other things. Okay, so let's see. Okay, uh, Slot there. Okay, the most high refers to the word as uh, wit, bread, wine, things of that nature. You know, um, as he says in Ezekiel, eat this, eat this roll that I give thee. Okay, um, but I was getting another scripture that, to segue into basically feeding the flock. Okay, so I want to go into um, uh, First Peter's chapter two. Okay, um, I start at 2 and 11. Okay, uh, the whole the whole thing going, it's hard to, to sit there and say what I want to get out of it. Uh, I, I got to start with the, with the, with, with one. I'm sorry, you know, it, it make it a little bit more lengthy than I expect it to be. But it still is very edifying, so I have to get the meat off the bone. It says, Wherefore, first first Peter chapter two, verse one says, Wherefore laying aside all malice and guile and hypocrisies and envies and evil speakings. So what type of uh man or lord would I be if I don't go into these definitions? You know, so like the brothers and other camps say warning, uh, in the Dallas camp specifically say warning, we're about to go into these definitions. So it said laying aside all malice. So let's get that word malice, okay? That word malice is uh, malignity, malice, ill will, desire to injure, wickedness, depravity, wickedness that is not ashamed to break laws, trouble evil, okay? You're supposed to lay aside that uh, that sh that shame to not break the law. You should you should not want to break the laws of the Most High. I don't know why my computer's being a demon, man. Doesn't want to let me scroll up to the first chapter for some reason. Okay, it says guile and hypocrisies. Okay, we know what hypocrisies are, so we're gonna go to the word guile. Okay. The word guile is craft, deceit, guile, okay? It's basically, you know, craft to 
to, uh, to lure, snare, deceit, you know, the way, um, basically once you come into this truth, and the reason why I wanted to get everything in this, in this chapter in particular is because it's telling you how to be a good brother. It's telling you how to properly feed the sheep, feed the flock. You have to lay aside all malice, all ill will toward anybody. Stop, basically stop being emotional and stop being a nigga. You know, that's what this, this first verse is talking about. And evil speakings. And, okay, and then you go into verse two, verse 2. It says, as newborn babes, as newborn babes, not no Americanized Israelite, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk. Let's look up that word sincere. Okay, very simple word. But it says, uh, a guileless, with no ill will intent. And things unmixed, unadulterated, pure, a per in person without dishonest intent. Okay, so you have to to be sincere. Desire the sincere milk is is to get the this with good intent to get that milk, man. Okay, not to prove somebody wrong, not to show off, not to do things of these natures, but to desire the sincere milk. Okay. So let's see here. It's, yeah, it's been a little demon, so I'm going to just click on it this way. Okay. Um, it says, if so, a salaki has newborn babes desire to sense their milk of the word of the uh, of the word that ye may grow thereby. Because that's what it's all about. It's about edifying or building up, which is synonymous with growth. Okay? Because you shouldn't be in this, in this truth for... for uh, having many years and you're still in the same position. You're still taking, if you got the spirit on you to take breaks during the winter, you're not right, man. Okay. Because, and, and I'm talking to Baloo and, and, and in this particular subject matter, because he's a good example of somebody that pre, pre, uh, preaches himself to be a loving brother. But Yahweh Shai said, if you love me, feed my sheep. Okay. But you love your Baloo love himself more because he's not willing to go out in the brick cold winter and make his body a living sacrifice in order to feed the flock. Okay? And there's many various angles and subjects applying to all these false prophets and, and phony ass niggas that's out there. And these are things that us Akim need to apply to ourselves also and looking and see what we're doing and if we can find any hypocrisies, envies, and evil speaks and guile and malice and attack that and get rid of that. Okay? Cause Satan Satan get on us too, man. You know, as um you know uh Satan got on Peter, man. You know? So let's keep moving. It says uh verse two verse uh chapter two verse three and I wanna say this also even though Satan got on Peter the difference between Satan getting on Peter and Satan getting on uh, um, Judas or just Satan being on a false prophet or, or these wicked Pharisees is that um, something like the wicked Pharisees is that they don't have intent of repentance. You know, like Baloo, even though all these cuts are coming out with Nate, even though all these cuts are coming out, even with Zabak and, and uh, Polite and, and um, Sakari and all these bugged out dino bot and all these guys is they don't have no intent to repent okay they think what they're doing is right and they're going guns blazing in the wrong direction okay so let's continue it says if so be ye have tasted that the lord is gracious okay to whom coming as uh unto a lively stone uh, unto a living stone disallowed indeed of men but chosen of the most high and precious Okay, ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices accepted to the Most High by Yahweh Shai. Okay, so we have a, um, a responsibility. Okay, once you claim that you're a man of the Lord, you have a responsibility to be a lively stone and make those sacrifices. Uh, there's righteous sacrifices, but it's the ways that you get it. And it comes with being sincere, man. Designing a sincere milk, doing it the right way, man. Okay? So I want to get that word sincere milk 
see if see if uh I just want to see if it's gonna give me that in particular. If it doesn't, then I I don't want to uh you know really deal in that word in itself. Okay. Uh, okay. Not not sincere milk. The um the the lively stones. Okay. I want to get that word lively or living stone. Okay, and it just goes back to um it says to live, breathe, be among the living, not lifeless, not dead, to enjoy your life, which is, is uh off. Um to have true life and worthy of the name, active. <laughs> but who is not active? Nate's not active. Okay, blessed, endless in the kingdom, to live past life. The spirit quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. So you got to have that word in you also. In the manner of the living and acting of morals or character, man. You know, to be a, to be a, a man of the Lord, you got to be a, a, a good brother too. You got to, you know, you're a man of the Lord, man. You're not just a representative while you're on a clock. You are a man of the Lord. Living water, having vital power in itself and exerting the same upon the soul. Metaphor, to be in full vigor, to be fresh, strong, efficient. Man, that's a beautiful, you know, it's a beautiful definition right here. Active, powerful, uh, uh, efficient, uh, uh, efficacious, okay? So, to be a lively stone is to be an active, uh, you know, you're part of the house. So, you're an active block, you're a strong block. Let's look up that word vigor, you know? Hey, through the Spirit, the Most High say, man, we about to extend this one, you know. So, hey, if you don't want to hear it, then that's on you. But, you know, the Spirit moving on this one. Um, let's get that word vigor through etymolo etymology.com. Okay, the word vigor is physical strength, energy, and, and activity. So, a fortitude toward what you do is not... You know, shalom, uh, you know, and born, you know, you're supposed to be lively, be lively, flourish, thrive, increase, and, 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 you know, be fluid, you know. If anybody has a passion towards something, you get better at it, man. You know, you work on your craft. You don't just be content with coming out, doing the work, and then going home. You know what I'm saying? You're examining yourself, and you're finding out ways that you could become better because nothing, nothing, I mean, nothing will suffice and, and being stagnant in the Lord, man. Especially when you're not perfect. And there's no way you can be perfect. You know, um, we're talking about as far as you're looking at your overall landscape. Of course, we're made perfect through your Howard Shy. But what I'm saying is, based off the things you've done up to this point, you already can't get can't be perfect. You know what I'm saying? But through your Howard Shy, we can become perfect. Okay? So what I'm saying is just looking at your overall layout of your life, okay, saying, damn, you know, I'm, I'm playing catch up right now. That's why it says when you come to serve the Lord, seek him 10 times more, man, because you're supposed to have, you're supposed to have that vigor. You're supposed to be a lively stone, man, okay? So let's keep, keep it, keep it going. That's a part of, and that's a part of the whole point of feeding the flock, you know? It's not just about just doing the work and going home and you you know shit how you how you eat how you carry yourself without your garments on it's, it's important okay let's let's go to uh, verse six it says wherefore also it is contained in the scripture behold I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone elect precious and he that believeth on him should not be confounded that cornerstone is Yahweh shy okay unto you therefore which believe he is precious but unto them which be disobedient the stone which the builders builders disallow the same is made the head of the corner okay because these these unbelievers they don't want to call on the name the right way they want to say we don't know who his name it was they don't want to claim him to be the person he he is you know, and among many things, man, saying he's just a prophet, okay? Those are the ones that are disobedient, man, okay? It's, it's really all about discipline, man, because all this what we're reading, you have to apply it, man, in order for it to work, man. 
Okay, verse 8, it says, A stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word. Cornelius being an Edomite, um, Cornelius being an Israelite, among many other um, doctrines, not doctrines, but breakdowns that niggas stumble at, being disobedient, whereto also they were appointed. So at the end of the day, we can't do shit about that, you know? But ye are a chosen that's why the apostle said man um that that we got the hundred percent truth because it says being disobedient where unto you they were appointed but ye are chosen a chosen generation of royal priesthood and holy nation we are one body man we are on the same path okay a peculiar people that ye should ye should shew forth the praise of him who have called you out of darkness into the marvelous light okay a stone of stumbling he is to those who are disobedient. <laughs> it ain't going to be no stone of stumbling niggas and people who are in the light, in the, the royal priesthood, in the same fucking, on the same boat, man. Okay? Verse 10, it says, Which in time past were not people, but not are now the people of the Most High, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Okay? And you need to... Us Akin, man, we need to be more appreciative of mercy, man. Okay? Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lust, which war against the soul. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lust. Okay? That's another aspect that you need to apply. Okay? Um, me, myself also. Okay? Believe you me, anything I'm bringing out, this is things that I've, uh, you know, through the most high, gave me the uh, ability to understand the things I have experienced, okay? It says, having your conversations, which is the, the manner you carry yourself, honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they may by your good works, which they shall behold, glorify the most high in a day of visitation. So basically, you have to carry yourself like a man of the Lord. So when the Lord comes, they can't say, well, the prophet was acting like niggas too, man. You know? So we have to carry out. We It's not about just carrying our so-called white man. It's about, you know, carrying, being a man of the Lord, carrying yourself with a certain demeanor, a certain respect, man. Okay? You you carry yourself a certain way, just like with, with uh, Obama and his, and his daughter and shit. And she out there going to the, going to these parties and all that shit. And uh, uh, the public is going crazy, which is some dumb shit in itself. But they're going crazy. Why? Because of her stock. She's from a presidential stock. So they're like, yo, look at how she's carrying herself. She's acting like a... And all, the, and, and all these fuck Americans do this shit. But why is she pointed out for it? Because of the stock she comes from. Okay? So that means you you can't shit here when, the, when you're, your dad's in... In office, act like a goody two shoe. Then when you're out, then it's like, oh, you know, your garments off. In her case, now you're wilding. It's like you, you lose a whole lot of respect, and they lose respect for the. They try to pin it on the president. So that's how it is with us, man. When we out here doing the work, you see us. Yeah, that's right. And we bring out the script, dude, and you catch a nigga doing some wild ass shit in the streets, man. And their garments off, man. Okay, moving on. It says, submit yourselves to every ordinance of, of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king as supreme or unto governors as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and for and for the praise of them that do well. Okay, um, and uh, for the record, it ain't talking about just the more who, who the most high ordain in the government that the most high sets up. Okay. Of course, you don't just break the laws of the land. You know what I'm saying? We have to render the seed of things that are unto Caesar. But at the same time, the people that you respect and keep order with is the uh, is the the rankings of the um that the Most High sent down, which is the apostles, our elders, on down. Okay. If you're a part of GMS, then follow the order of GMS. You see what I'm saying? Okay. It says for so who so for so is the will of the Most High that with well doing ye may put to silence the ignorance. Of foolish men, okay. So it's all about how you carry yourself and how you apply yourself and being active and doing all this. It's not about bringing out fancy breakdowns. It's about applying the scriptures 
desiring a sincere milk and applying that. And one of the main things is feeding the flock. It's very simple just to do the work, man, and be honest about doing the work. And, and you, like, like we said, man, if it ain't on your ability to bring, bring out elaborate breakdowns and angles that you know what you know this or what, you know, just bring out what you know sincerely, man. You know, and you desire to study the sincere milk, okay? You should want the basics. You, you'll see apostles bring out these revelations and you're trying to keep up with the Joneses' ass nigga, man. Feed the flock. That's all your job is, man. If you the water boy, be the fucking water boy, man. You know? Okay, um... So, uh, verse 16, it says, As free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as the servants of the Most High, okay? Not doing this shit because you want to shit on people, not doing this to um, get over. Let's look up that word malicious in verse 16, okay? And we're almost done here, so we're going to close it out once we finish to get to the point on this, okay? It says malignity, malice, ill will, desire to injure, uh, depravity, um, it goes back to the word malice, you know, wickedness that is not a shame to break the laws, evil, trouble. Okay, so you can't be doing this to be trying to get over, man. All right, you got to be sincere. The most high dealing with people that are sincere and doing the work, man. He ain't dealing with no niggas, man. Okay, I don't care how you hide yourself, shalom, and all that and, and shit, and you're a fucking nigga, man. Like the brothers did a wonderful lesson saying. You know, when you come to camp, you don't want to be the, you know, the motherfucker that killed the kill the vibe in the in the room, man. You know, cause you're a fucking nigga. You know, it says as free and not using your your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as the service of the Most High. Honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear the Most High, honor the King. Okay, and, and what it says, honor honor all men, love the brotherhood, man. Okay, and that, that love is what it most likely goes back to the word agape, but I'm going to check it out to make sure. Yes, uh, agape says a person is to welcome, to entertain, to be fond of, to love dearly of things, to be well pleased, to be, con to be, uh, to be contented, contented at or with a thing. So basically, you're supposed to be well pleased, and, and it's important um, to have a preference for wish well to regard the welfare of, to regard the welfare of the condition how they're doing, man. You know, there's brothers, man. You leave camp, you don't even hear from niggas, man. You know, there's there's how the fuck can you sit there and say it's too cold for me? I'm not gonna go out there and feed the flock, man. You know, if there's niggas out here. You go outside and you still see niggas. Your job ain't done, man. Okay? If the most high destroy all two-thirds, you know, and they're still walking, and you go outside and you still see niggas, you, you still need to do the work, man. There ain't no reason for you to take no fucking break. I, I don't give a fuck you got married or anything. You lose your legs, all that, man. If there's still niggas out here, two-thirds, then it's, we still got to do the work, man. Okay? Your job ain't done. Why the fuck you feel comfortable with the amount of effort you put in when niggas are still a niggas out here, man? You should you shouldn't be content. You should be still ready to go out there and do the work, man. It being, you know, uh, uh, lively stones, man. Active, okay. If you have a love of the brotherhood, you know, as Baloo preaches, he he's a love he's a love guy. You know, they ain't love, man. Okay. What we do is love, being out here, yeah, to push, uh, bringing out these scriptures every day, man. If you love, if you love your house shy, feed the flock, man. Get up off your fucking ass, man. And if you don't do it, you don't love your house shy. Then it's very simple, man. It ain't nothing complicated, okay. It ain't no fucking it ain't rocket sciences. I mean, it ain't rocket science. If your ass is too lazy, you're slow belly, okay, and you ain't a lively stone. You don't love your Howard Shy, man, okay? You're supposed to be active. You're supposed to be passionate in this thing. You're supposed to be always building up and growing in this thing, man. Not that same old nigga, man. 
bringing out the same old precepts in the same position. You're supposed to be on some shit just trying to advance yourself every time in this truth, man. But it all starts with the basics. Like I said in the beginning, it ain't about doing that fantastic shit. Doing the basics. If you keep doing the basics, I guarantee you it will advance you in some way, man. You know? Just like you go and, you go and fighting, man. You, you do fucking the same thing over and over. It starts with your feet, your foundation, learning how to move, and then you learn how you're, you're jabbing, you're crossing. Motherfuckers get all that boring looking. I got to do these two punches. Hey, Ali did the same punches, man. But he mastered and it did in different ways and he advanced it. You know, feints, stiff jabs, jabs to the body, you know, double jabs, triple jabs, and all that, you know what I'm saying? All for that one punch, man. But if you act like up in that motherfucker like these UFC guys, they don't they got too much shit that they're trying to do. Like Bruce Lee said, man, I don't feel a man that practices a thousand punches. I feel the man practices one punch a thousand times. So stick to the scriptures, man. Book of Yasha and all that. Book of Enoch. Man, stick to the scriptures, man. Stick to the bases. And then and you're going to build from there, you know? And use whatever thing you learn and apply it, man. Don't, don't feel like you're not effective because you don't have as much knowledge as another brother, man. Apply what the Most High, whatever the gift the Most High gave you, man. Certain people just have more than others, man. Okay? This ain't a, this ain't a competition. It's, it's about efficiency, man. How, can you, how accurate do you bring out the truth? You know, so I ain't don't make up shit. Don't be a, a, a presumptuous. Just bring it out how you know to bring it out, and just keep working at your craft. And it's gonna add on. The more you study, and like like I just did, bring out definitions. You learn more. You know, just doing the lesson. I I learned more. I learned it with you, brothers, man. So uh, that's pretty much it. You know, I want to say call hello to your how about Shimi Arshad, the Bonsai Apostle slash Elders. And bless the salutation to you brothers out there teaching and doing work in truth and sincerity. And once again, if you love your hour shy, you feed the sheep, you feed the flock. Shalom.